While addressing the nation on the occasion of Independence Day, Prime Minister Modi has announced that the deals worth $5.2 billion to buy 83 Tejas light combat aircraft and indigenous light combat helicopters are close to be signed. The final paperwork for the deal is complete and is awaiting clearance from the Finance Ministry. Hindustan Aeronautics is assured of the order for 83 Tejas aircraft as the price negotiation is complete and it has also produced nine airframes for the upcoming 15 limited series helicopter order after it received a signal from the government that a contract will be signed by the end of this year. With a name to boost surveillance capabilities in the Indian Ocean region, the Indian Navy has moved a proposal to urgently acquire 10 ship-borne unmanned aerial systems, and this procurement will cost over 1,240 crore rupees. The Indian Navy will acquire these drones through an open bid, and then deploy them on its destroyers and frigates for surveillance and reconnaissance activities. Apart from upgrading its Heron unmanned aerial vehicles, the Indian Navy is working separately on a project to acquire Sea Guardian drones from the US under emergency procurement, that will vastly expand its surveillance capability from the Madagascar Islands to the strategic Malacca Straits and beyond. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Indian Institute of Technology in the virtual presence of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Chief of Defence Staff, for the collaboration for the joint development of pilotless target aircraft and tactical unmanned aerial vehicles. Both the organisations will soon conduct feasibility studies, as well as design development testing and validation of the tactical unmanned aerial vehicles. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has also teamed up with NASCOM Center of Excellence for the implementation of artificial intelligence in the products developed by the company. The chairman and managing director of Bharat Electronics Limited gave a presentation to the defense minister on an indigenous 62x zoom lens and a single board computer. The single board computer is a system controller module with quad core i7 processor and various onboard interface and memory devices that has been developed for ground based indigenous intelligence gathering electronic systems that are currently being deployed at the country's borders. The 62x zoom lens is a part of long range surveillance equipment, and both these indigenous systems will replace the ones being imported from the US. In a major development, the U.S. has deployed its B-2 strategic stealth aircraft at the Diego Garcia Naval Support Facility located in the Indian Ocean, which is aimed towards ensuring a free and open Indo-Pacific, and this deployment comes at a time when China intends to hold two military exercises around 550 kilometers north of Taiwan. A retired Major General of the Indian Army has said, that Indian public and private sector companies are fully capable of manufacturing ultralight howitzers and self-propelled howitzers, and India no longer needs to buy systems like K-9 Vajra and M777 howitzers from foreign countries. Russian imports will be hugely impacted under the artillery section, as India will begin manufacturing the 120mm fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding Sabot ammunition by December 2020, 122mm grad rockets by 2022, and electronic artillery fuses and bimodular charge systems by 2024. India's plan to ban short-range surface-to-air systems has automatically terminated the sale of American NASAMS 2 systems worth 6,000 crore rupees.